Pizza are bad this morning, yeah. Round. Oh. Some Lucia a bit back last night. Oh. This morning I'm not feeling too sharp, eh? But jeez, I'm so glad I'm on this thing tonight. Today. Yes, yes. Yes, I don't know what it's given that I made it up this morning. Did you manage to escape or not last night? Man, child. Uh, Oaks got bent in the bar yesterday, but I managed to steer clear because there's one final session probably till about 10 o'clock. Yesterday I did a clinic on bucktailing and I took four guys on the boat. And can you believe we caught 36 fish? It was absolutely off the chart wild. I like this area, boys. There's birds all over. Ooh. Gonna get productive here now. Just have to look for them and catch a fish. The crew must just be ready. I'm not gonna go full sticks today. There's no point in going all the way down to Jolly because you're gonna be coming back with the wind. So remember to always think about which way the wind is coming because you don't want to catch a harding on this jet ski because you go straight to the chiropractor. I'll put one at the shotgun, far one. behind the boat, yeah. And then my two I'll top. Fall, fall you. Fall it depends, normally when it's they go quiet, I'll swim a foot at 50, 80 meters behind the boat, okay. on its own there, hang around there. And then the two top ones will be a bit closer, the 25, 50 meter mark. And then the two bottom ones, I'll put them close to the boat, just out of the wash because they dive down. So you just want to get them underneath the wash. And most times the first two tuna will be on the bottom rods, the shallow ones. When we can go for tunas, we normally put six rods. It's easy. Just to get that action in the water and pull all those lures together because that's what's making the action. Yeah, yeah. So we can uh, fish like that. We struggle with normally when you put one, just one lure out to get a tuna. Mm -hmm. Because it, it does, just that one lure doesn't attract it. So you need that five, six lures and pull it together and then it works. I was puzzling, puzzling. With, on the first day, when was that? Thursday, to catch a, a tuna. I tried baits, I tried everything, I tried my bucktail, nothing. I pulled my speed pro all along the ledge, nothing. So I thought, let me change it up because the water's a bit cold. So what I did is I stopped the jet ski, I got rid of all the, the bubbles, the noise, the jets, everything. And I floated for a bit with my lure, and then I hit the start button, which is idle and I trawled it idle and I watched that rod tip go left to right and that's what you want from your lure, it's designed to shake and it was in 15 seconds and that rod tip off with the tuna 16 meters so very very happy that you know you get your targeted species <laughs> <laughs> Bring that thing, Eddie. Bring that thing, boy. Oh, well, it was easier yesterday. Because <laughs> you didn't mean to anything. What are you doing to me? Okay, cool. Here we go, boys. Let's see something. Hello, there, boys. Let's pump them in, dude. Yes, Again. Absolute 
Got a greedy little eye there. Uh, eating my fire mantle. Boys, I come out to the ledge. Can you believe? Put a rainbow runner out, and something started screaming. But it's a Dorado. Seems like a decent size as well. Look at that. <laughs> Ellie, you f***ing beaut, what a photo bro, what a photo. Is up. We're gonna go have a one two dops at the local watering hole. Fisherman's restaurant and pub. Very nice to see Captain Kirk here. Yeah? Come to the end of our trip here in uh, St. Lucia, and this this little town has just got has got so much to offer the the, the holiday maker, you know. And um, from the families to the fishermen to the wives to the guys, you've really obviously got great fishing on your doorstep here. Uh, relatively easy launch sites to launch out of, um, so even the inexperienced guys can can launch out of there. Then you've got um, the, the 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 estuary, uh, St. Lucia estuary, which which definitely supplies a lot of the people that come here with something to do. You can do a boat cruise and in St. Lucia and see hippos and crocodiles and bed life and beautiful vegetation around along the, the shores of the lake. All right, so welcome on Lake St. Lucia. Uh, approximately 85 kilometers long and used to be classified as an estuarine system. The, the estuary itself was last open naturally almost 13 years ago. And what's that, what that's done is it's now silted up this estuary and it's mostly or it's predominantly fresh water. There's, there's not much or any salt water left in the system. Now what happens is everyone thinks, well, just, let's just open up the estuary, you know, let's get some seawater in here. It's going to solve our problems. It's not. It'll actually do the, it'll have the adverse effect where you open up that, that river system and because <clears throat> now salt water is going to be entering that river system, it's going to basically kill everything in that system so there needs to be a fine balance between the amount of fresh water you're getting in there and the amount of salt water you're getting in there the only solution here is is an expensive one and it's something that the, the, the guys of St. Lucia that have businesses here are extremely worried about and concerned about because that estuary provides a lot of tourism to 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 these people and to these businesses in St. Lucia all these hippo watching tours and all these barge tours that go up the river and the crocodile tours and and that Basically, if something's not done in the next couple of years, they will cease to exist. That river will not be able to be used because those reeds will encroach too close on each other, making it into a swamp, and they're not going to be able to get up those rivers. It's, it's a very sensitive area. 
there are systems like the, the, the lakes that are very sensitive and very dynamic. They will be dry, they'll be salty, they'll be everything. The vegetation that grows al around here, which all leads to what animals you can find in the area. It's a very sensitive area, but it is so special with the beauty and the history, that the rich history that we have in the area. So there's a, it has a lot to offer because of the, the, the ecosystems that exist within just one parcel of land. So what needs to be done is the solution is they need to put a desalination plant up the river which is going to cost i can only imagine tens of millions to to to, to set up a desalination plant once they open the mouth and they'll have to dredge that mouth constantly and as the salt water feeds into the system they'll have to have a desalination plant working fresh water back into the system to balance out the amount of salt versus the amount of fresh water and what that'll do is it'll kick start the system again and your hippos and crocs will be able to live uh, as well as possibly get St Lucia off the ground again in a fishing from the fishing front and it's important for all of us uh, as people to understand that even what we do further inland impacts on our oceans it impacts on all our um, uh, ecosystems where we live so it's not only what the park management would do inside the park we need to care for the environment in in every way that we can we all need to play our part Seeing those opposed today, you think, ah, oh, no, it's, it's just a barge trip. It's just sort of, you know, stock standard, normal. But geez, it's it's honestly capped off such a, an awesome experience and such an awesome trip up to here to St Lucia, and it's so well worth the worth the trip doing those barge trips. It just also gives you an appreciation of Africa at its finest. This place is beautiful, man, and you know, I couldn't stop thinking about. When I was on that barge trip, how much my daughter would love to to experience this with me and and experience it as a family, you know. Two and a half hours away is some of the best fishing you'll get in the world, together with game parks and you know these wonderful estuaries. Just experiences and moments that, if you bring your families to these places, they'll remember forever. Lucia, you've been great and we love you guys man, one way. <laughs>